Hey there guys and welcome uh, to the already promised analysis video of today's uh, Friday's actual uh, second gameplay reveal video that Frontier did. Um, many things you have potentially already seen in the last one so this is why I'm skipping those elements. I don't really want to do this again and again. This is not to make any views or clicks or whatnot. I just want to go into the new bits to give it to you guys um, really quickly, uh, hands-on, to, to really go in deep which, um, with the things that you haven't seen. So first of all, um, let's just stop here because um, as you may be able to tell, the UI death is definitely better to see this time. So there are a few bits and pieces here and there that we need to talk about. Um, and let me just Please, can I just somehow, I just want to make sure that I have this, somehow I can, wait a second, how am I even able to disconnect this weird bar down here? I know that I can do this, but, ah, there we go, this is how we do it, awesome, uh, sorry, okay, um, so, as you can see, and I'm zooming in a little bit here so that we do go through here, um, basically you have seen most of the first layer, like, I don't know if I can get this done, oops, come on. Just do it slowly. So this is basically what we've seen last time. And now we get an additional layer here. So, which is pretty interesting, we get the temperature. We haven't had the temperature in Planet Coaster, I guess. But if we had, it doesn't really made any difference, I guess. But in, I think it's pretty important to know about here because this changes how your animals will feel and if they need cooling, for example, or whatnot. You can see that there is obviously um, the speed indicator going on and yeah, all this kind of stuff uh, works as well. And if we go all the way to the other side, um, well, I could just go a little bit back here to make sure that uh, you can really see what I was talking about. Slower, here we go. So what I don't really know is what this is to the left hand side down here. I have no clue actually what this could be. Um, it seems like a toggle of something. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is. Um, I don't know if this is menu or whatnot. So I can only guess, but I, I'm not quite sure. So next bit is with the zoom management. Uh, what we've already looked into, we have the trading, what we couldn't look into because we haven't seen that. We have the money, it just seems to be a pretty rich zoo at the moment. Oh, well, we don't really know if it's rich or not because we can't really tell if this is a lot of money or not because things, we don't know if things are kind of expensive or not. However, this next bit over here, I believe it's not the uh, total number of animals in a zoo. This is absolutely not possible, but it could be like the animal raiding of a kind. Um, and this is the overall park rating. So this is obviously the guest count indicator. And this seems to be, you know, the thing is, this seems to be satisfaction. I, I'm i not sure if this is like the overall park rating and the satisfaction are two different things. I'm just wondering why the satisfaction could be that different to um, the rating. However, let's move on because this is clearly not all what we want to see here. Um, so if we just uh, scroll through a little bit, we can see here again, Bo and so on talking until we are actually going back into the game. There we go. We've seen basically all of that. Um, so if we move further, it's basically exactly the same footage we have talked about. So um, now we are getting into some new footage. So awesome. Well, that Oops, I need to deactivate the sound. Sorry for that. So um, if we hit the our wonderful uh, AZ, she's called AZ. Um, this is our uh, male giraffe. It's the reticulated giraffe called AZ. She's only got, oh, he's only got, at least the male, uh, half a star. He's um, 3.8 years old and he's about to starve because it seems to be he's got no food. So he definitely needs to get some food quickly. Um, however, we can see some more bits in here we haven't seen last time. So this over here uh, seemed to be just an icon last time, but it seems, oh, let me just zoom in. Let me just zoom in while we talk about. So um, this seems to be, again, a toggle of some kind, which I am not sure what this is. It, does this mean it's on medics or so? Because it definitely is a pill. So it might be that this is an indicator for being on medics. I don't know. Um, and if we go a little bit further down, we have these three dots over here, which seem to be some sort of menu maybe. I don't know if you can enlarge the menu or not. What is pretty cool over here is that we can uh, film it or just go into a camera mode which is awesome and this seems to be 
can some kind of trading icon or so just pack into a box or so um, to make it make sure that we can deliver it I guess um, if we would go through here not quite sure what this all is it, it kind of is guessing this seems to be habitat this might be also habitat like terrain and plants kind of in two different tabs I don't know this is pretty much enrichment I guess connection like family maybe or so or maybe this is fam family because that's like a genome uh, or gene string or a DNA string that's how it's called um, this seems to be an overview about the animal and this might be then uh, I don't know the well-being I don't know no this is the well-being so I don't know what that is so yeah I can't really tell and you can obviously rename it which is cool and you can locate it so quite a few things to spot here uh, in terms of new because last time we haven't seen that okay now let's move on she so clicked the camera and now we can see the giraffe in all its glory now again look at that super awesome with all the ear flickering and oh god I forgot again how the um, horns are named someone of you commented down it's oh something with O damn I forgot it Ocu ocular whatever I don't really know um, then we have another look at our springbok it's the Bakari and uh, there's nothing more to say about else then this seems to be then another file hmm sneaky frontier because something changed down here I don't know where the cut was but wait a second see we have is this changing so dramatically uh, yeah, it definitely is. Look at that. That's kind of a real cut here. So we have 807 rating while 1,300 guests uh, and a bad satisfaction. But now as we go further, it's an awesome satisfaction, but we only have 116 while we don't have that much money, which is interesting. Okay, so um, let's just uh, play uh, because I want to make sure that we have another lovely look onto our animals. I just move my mouse away until we are somewhere where it's important to talk about. Uh, good. Oh, look at the look at the detail. It's simply astonishing, to be honest. It is really, really great. Uh, yeah, we can see the poo. I mean, we definitely. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was a little detail. I just wanted to show you again. Just a very tiny detail. Just have a look down here to the poo. Oops! The poo is just kicked by the giraffe, so it actually has some physics and reacts to the terrain. It's just a little detail, but I found this to be very interesting. Look at this wonderful lovely small spring box. This seems to be, it's not really a baby, isn't it? Is it? It's, it's more like a teenage spring box, if you will, or just a, a very young spring box. I don't know how spring box, I don't know, babies look, but maybe smaller. So yeah. Um, also, you can see in the background, okay, maybe you can't, but uh, here's the zookeeper with the poover, as Bo Marit would call it, uh, trying to get and suck all the poo in. Uh, here's another look onto a spring box, which seems to be, wait a second, we need to compare that again. Um, okay, this is one view. Maybe it was just because of the... Ah, yeah, it was just because of the lighting and zoom. Hmm, okay, I thought it would be just an, a different tint to to the fur. So I was guessing we can tell that they are naturally growing. Anyways, okay, so we move over now. Look at the animation of the giraffe. It's just really, really good. So as we move over now, you can see it's another cut again, because we have three and a half thousand guests and satisfaction is even worse than it has been before, but we have even more money. So this seems to be a very profit-oriented pack <laughs> of some kind. Anyways, we go now in here, and this is the bit uh, where people have been guessing a lot that the zebra, or zebra, how is it even pronounced? Please let me know in the comments down below. Is there a real good way of pronouncing it? People were guessing that the zebra, I call it zebra, is... Um, pregnant and I don't know wait a second uh, I need to um, okay this one is a female one I don't know if this is the one we were looking at last time it's Latasha I am not quite sure I think it was another name because she also clicked on we can still not see and this seems to be having a normal kind of uh, uh, stomach and I don't know uh, it's it's nothing too special there is also no hint at that she is being pregnant or whatnot I wonder if it would be even in here but she's got like a three star rating of some kind anyways um, okay so uh, the UI seems to be a bit improved over what we've seen in the other demo or maybe just another color I'm not too sure about that so if we move further in here we can just see some beauty shots of the animals um, and you know you enjoy watching them I'm pretty sure but I only want to focus on new stuff because yeah well it's um, yeah there we go there's some new stuff to spot uh, this is what I wanted to do whoops come on Rudy don't be foolish okay here we go so he's 
running, uh, I don't know if it's he or she, but um, this animal, uh, the wild beast, is running um, through water and the cool thing is the fur is just partly wet, which I love. I mean, yes, you can definitely expect that from a 2019 game, but I just think that this is a lovely little detail. So let's continue watching here. Um, you can see it's really just until over here. So basically uh, exactly what they have, uh, what the animal has been in the water with. And so, yeah, so you can see something else. The animal is scratching itself on this post. So this is also one of the enrichment things to make the animal happy. We see another zookeeper. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. I was waiting for this. Uh, I need to stop in this the right situation again to make sure that I have the a good and sharp shot of it. Wait a second. And uh, there we go. Wait, let's, okay, now. We have to zoom in here. This is a wonderful, wonderful, way better look at the water purifier. We haven't seen that as detailed as we see it right here. Um, and the cool thing is, as I've been in a zoo today, where you will get a vlog of, or actually kind of a more or less like a summary video, because I haven't really vlogged that much. Anyways, not, not part of the video, let's continue. Um, this water purifier is actually pretty realistic because it has, um, not only this big tank but also some smaller ones we have to look into how detailed this thing is if you do, do need actual different steps because it's not only purifying water there's some more stuff going on you want to get some uh, chemicals out of the water to make sure that the water is not having too many nitrates for example which is really poison or like if there's iron in the water too much iron is also not good so quite a few things that we have to look into if this is happening but yeah that's a pretty good look we get onto the water purifier now let's uh, move on and see what we can else spot. Um, but yeah, again, I, I'm trying to skip over whatever you've seen already, so to make sure that uh, you are not bored of all the stuff we have been discussing in the other way too long video. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't too long, I guess, uh, because I was going so much into detail that this is uh, clearly of interest, at least I hope so. Uh, if not, let me know in comments down below, because I'm always willing to try to make it better if you guys think it can be improved. Um, oh wait, let me just show you something here because I like this a lot. Look at the cheetahs, how quick they run. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you could spot that, but um, yeah. So now we are getting into the saltwater crocodile enclosure, which is again, something you've seen, but you haven't seen this small boy over here. So which is really cool to see um, that again, we have different uh, kind of sizes of the animals, like growing stages, which is, all, well, I don't know if it's growing stages. I don't really know if it's just the adult and the uh, kid's face, but you can definitely tell from this view now, wait a second, as she clicks on, um, this seems to be a little bit different because this is clearly a bit smaller, it seems, like just in general, it's smaller, but 16.1 years old. So yeah, there's definitely uh, some more stuff going on here. So we can see with the terrain now um, that there is, oh wait, now we, see, we have seen environment. Okay, that's what this tab is for. So this is for environment, good to know. So she can look into how much stuff they need, which is great. Okay, this is the enrichment. Okay, good. So we need, we know now four out of these uh, nine taps, I guess. So she's putting in more soil now. I don't think we need to wait for it because she, you know, just putting in. Okay, but now we are at the next very important bit. So yeah, I've seen this, um, the, the wild dogs are playing with uh, another box here, which is basically the same box, I guess, as with the chimpanzees. But here is another look at one of the other menus. Let me just move away this weird piece here. So, wait, why is this jumping back? Okay, so we have many, many pieces in here and now we are in the tab of having everything displayed. So this is why it's not in a category. I'm not sure what that all is, but um, you can see that the one cho chosen is a prey sa uh, scented sack. I guess this is um, something to, to, you know, play hunting, if you will. Um, and there are so many other cool things in here we can see. So basically this seems to be some kind of, uh, yeah, lying, I don't know, bed, <laughs> if you will, like some, some stuff where they can lie down and just enjoy lying down. It's a bit warmer from the soil so they don't, don't need to lie down on the, on the cold soil. Um, this seems to be alongside this one and this one with all the holes punched into it, seems to be some kind of, um, 
trick play tool, for, so maybe to, for chimpanzees, so to, to test them and so that they need to think because they are clever animals and they need to think. We have some of these scratching poles we've seen. Yeah, I can't really figure out what all of it is. We have balls, that means it seems to be animals playing with balls, which is cool. That means also we have like uh, balls for, for example, the uh, elephant, I guess, would be one of the animals that plays with it. And the indicator on the right hand side here is that it seems that we only have these three rows at least at the moment and this doesn't need to be any indicator of if that's all or not because clearly this can be only a list of things researched in this scenario so basically as you can see from here this is, seems to be a very early stage of the scenario because only 189 we've seen over 800 so basically that's early stage also not that much money uh, and meaning you might not have researched anything right now so please bear in mind that this could be uh, still pretty much work in progress anyways but also uh, it is not researched so it's just a bare list of things we have however if you guys are a zookeeper and you have ideas what that all is please let me know because i have certainly no idea what that all is <laughs> um, but anyways what is cool to see is when she's plopping it down um let me just see if we can make her do this now so bam she clicked it down and as you can see from the movement these pieces seem also to be freely placeable which is important because some people also guess that this might only be this plate and you know then then uh, things happen with the enrichment tools maybe some of them look like that but um for the most part we can obviously also move this with the advanced move tool which is cool so um let's continue and maybe put whoops uh where have we been there we go we just go back here there we go okay let's move this out of sight now because this is annoying so let me just move on to the next bit oops uh let me just Wait, I need to go exactly to the frame. Oh, it's a bit finicky, but there we go. And now, let me just zoom in, and you can see you have a better look here onto the solar panel. What looks like also to have a connection to the pass, which is awesome. So it's it, it seems also that we need a mechanic, for example, to repair if something is not working here, because we do know that we have a mechanic. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's just a solar panel. I guess there's not much more to say about that. So let's hit the play button again and see what we see. Next. Okay, I think we can skip pretty much the next bit because this is um, all the interior stuff. We have gone through this one completely. Let's just have a little look if we spot anything uh, different from last time. I think it is basically the same. Okay, so if we zoom further in, um, yeah, this is still, uh, again what we've seen. Nothing major uh, spoiler in here. This is also what we've seen. This is the interior of, which is awesome by the way, but this is the interior of uh, the stuff management. We have seen that. By the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, like we've seen that, um, make sure that you go to my other video, which I'll link in the description down below and at the end of this um, video as well. And also you can find that on my channel, but here is some new bit and we need to look into that exactly here. What is going Oh God, my, my bad, my bad. I hate that. Where is this? Freaking, okay, there we go. So I can't just move that, okay, here we go. So uh, let's zoom in because this is important bit here. So we have the path overview now, which is very cool indeed because we can have a look now onto exactly three things that are super important. So I think this one should be Q because we still need a Q for the rides in the park. However, this is the normal path and we have a natural path again, which is which is really important to me to be honest because I'm still hoping that they will have the option to um you know, kind of uh, give us the option to not have these pillar thingies on the bottom, these little, you know, stumps or whatever these things are called. But one cool bit over here is and this is kind of hiding away down here square edges which is awesome because we you know we can kind of create square edges in uh, Planko but we need to use the grid tool for it like building kind of a grid and plaza so it seems that they have the option now to make square edges in general which is cool that seems to be at least a minor improvement above the pathing and obviously yes we have guests pa uh, guest pathing so again okay, sorry Staff pathing, obviously. Man, Rudy, come on, get your stuff together. So as she is going now into the staff path, you can see there are like four variants of path. I'm quite sure this is only 
you know, to make sure that we have uh, a bit of variation in here in terms of the, the staff path. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it costs one per meter. I don't know if this is important to know, but yeah, well, we know it at least now. Uh, what is also pretty cool, you can spot that here. You have a sign saying staff only, so guests cannot walk into this area, which is... Uh, yeah, fairly obvious if this is a staff only area, right? So nothing nothing too crazy, nothing too surprising here. Um, now we are moving on to something else I wanted to point out. And yeah, you can have a little glimpse now on the Jeep ride again. We've spot this Jeep ride obviously of already and covered it in its entirety. So let's not talk too much about it. You can see it's going from enclosure to enclosure. Super awesome, it's nice. People, oh, well, by the way, one thing I wanted to point out because I forgot that last time. And this is exactly if we just go here, stop it, and now you can see that people are using the normal path as viewing platforms, which is cool because um, many people have been guessing that already, obviously, but um, it's a cool confirmation that you can also have pathing as interaction so that you don't need to build dedicated viewing platforms as you needed to do it in uh, Jurassic World Evolution. So e even though the, the, the guests, oh God, I see something which I didn't want to see, guys. Well, yo, you see, these things are the ones I was talking about. These are the little stumps or whatever they're called, uh, little trunk pieces that define at the edge of the natural path, which is a bit unfortunate. I was hoping that we can get rid of them, but maybe there's hope that we can still get rid of them and they just chose to use them here. Um, yeah, you see these picnic benches. I want to stop it here quickly just to point out that we have uh, a gulpy uh, shop here and we have the hot dog squad. So they're going full into uh, the Planko brands, which is cool, um, and there's nothing wrong with it uh, because they have been established and why not do this? I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff available, and as I said in previous episodes, it's super good that they do it because then they can focus on more of the other stuff. I just wanted to point something more out in here, and this is me, uh, the gardener Rudy, pointing out flowers, and I was, I was really fearing we don't get too many small ones, but it seems that we have fairly quite a good choice of small flowers. We have seen some in here and uh, over the course of the video um, you might be able to spot even more. Let me just zoom in a bit more. There we go. We have some on the right hand side here and if we move a bit further even here we can see right in our face on the left hand side. God it's so... it's so... okay let's go frame by frame. It's blending over now. Okay well my computer is not doing it because my computer seems to be... oh god I hate you. I hate you, you were the chosen one. Cool, here we go, there's another flower pot, whatever. So it seems that we do have a good choice of flowers, which is, uh, to be fair, really awesome. Uh, because if you want to do something your own, it's always important to have also smaller pieces. So now we're going into the chimp uh, enclosure again. I guess I wanted the cheetahs first. I'm not too sure whether we go to those ones first or not. Uh, let me just see. Uh, we move further in here because there's nothing too crazy to see other than this. I just wanted to point out there is the word camel in here. I haven't seen a single camel in the game yet, but at least the name camel is being on a screen. Two things I wanted to point out over here. This is official Planko language, as you can see, um, and they seem to be moving because this seems to be like a little bit of an animation going on. Let's just see if it is. No, it's not really because it would have played then. But the cool thing is that they even <laughs> they even translated the animal names into Planko language, which is cool. The giraffe is called Rekutilian uh, Skurtai, and uh, the springbok is called the Screebook. The Screenbook. Um, and this is the, the professional name of it, is the Antidorakas uh, Masurpialis. <laughs> Well, whatever, I need to learn Planko for this game, I guess. Uh, I still haven't learned it from Planko. Um, but you can see people need the education bits uh, to, to be informed. So I like that we have them. And they seem to be also just uh, sticked on top of them. I like this backstage door over here. This is like kind of tied into it below the pathing. I like how they did this. Um, now we are moving on to, I guess, is it already the chimp enclosure? No, it's the jeep, right? And we are going to the cheetahs now. So we get a better look now onto the jeep. Um, and I wanted to just give you... Oh, wait. Never mind. Wherever I put this thing, it's always in the way. Oh, there we go. It's just such an awesome view now. I like this view so badly. Um, good. Anyways, so... There we go. I, I like that the staff member is just, you know, relaxing and just, you know, 
calmly go... Oh god, man, Rudy, I hate myself. Sorry. Um, okay, never mind, I just cut this because uh, this was clearly not intended to be happening and this is really annoying for you that I'm always like jumping back. Uh, the last three times I just found this really quickly so that was okay, but this time it took me like a lifetime to go back to this point and I did it for you. So yeah, we have a wonderful, lovely new look onto the cheetahs. Look at how well they are designed. I just love it, like the animation and yeah, sure, this is in the way again man um look at that i mean it's so majestic i i love these animals in general i like um how the body is shaped and all these kind of bits about this animal is just oh, it's just i really like cheetahs i have to say i just really like them so now we are getting to our friends the chimpanzees and chimpanzee um we have talked about them a bunch in the last uh video so i don't want to cover it too long here but you can see uh, how he's throwing away this um box and this box seems to be clearly coming from this bit over here so this is um something for the enrichment tools again this is all built piece by piece they reminded of us of that as well and i just want to point out now this is why i'll leave that running um again there's nothing special to see in here so this is why i'm just waiting um i like how they move and this is look at this it's in game it's insane um and yes i agree they are just jumping a tad bit too high maybe but apart from that i love how precise the movement is and like you don't see any glitch or whatnot so this is super awesome um and remember you're very close up so if you see that from a distance it looks even better uh so really cool also how they're like sleeping here and again this seems to be that enrichment piece we've seen at whoops I just exactly jumped in this situation um, so this seems to be exactly the enrichment piece we have seen in the menu, which is kind of, yeah, something like a bed or something to rest uh, where it is warmer to lie on. Um, I like that they seem to interact which is, which is, which, with each other. The God, that's a tongue breaker here. Um, it, 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 oh, tongue twister, is it in English? I don't know. Um, so it seems to be so, I, when I uh, saw that first, um, I was like, yeah, okay, that makes total sense. But if you remember, this game is, is based, it, it's still a game, obviously, and in Jurassic World Evolution, the only thing that animals did uh, interact with, with each other is basically killing each other. So, or fighting, I should say, because not always kill, but here it seems that they have social interaction. As I said, it looks so simple. But it's a big deal, because that seems that animals have a social interaction with each other, and then they, first of all, have to like each other, I guess. And if they don't, or if you have, for example, as you may know, in, in some species, you, you might not have a, uh, a, a female uh, species part of it in, because then the males would fight for her. So you have only males in there, and maybe then they are lacking something. I don't know, but this is really interesting to see um, that this is really happening. So, yeah, a uh, cool bit to see very important thing to see. It, it looks like a minor thing, but it is really important and a really, really, really great addition to the game uh, that, yeah, it is definitely necessary, but it looks simple, yet it isn't. Um, oh, I like the reflection. Have you seen that? Like, look at the sun flare. It's so much improved over Planet Coaster. I like it. Okay, so now we are moving into the very new part, guys. Now get excited. Uh, I keep it running to, to kind of build up the tension here as well in the video. Because this is the real shit. This is the real good thing to look at. Um, and I will say that I can already hear people moaning now. And I, I know why. I know why. And I am also for... You know, a little bit of a... Um, okay, I have something to show you. Uh, okay, anyways, I put it in other words. So this is one of the smaller enclosures, and this is an iguana down here, as you can see. And uh, she's also clicking on that now, as you can see in a second. There we go. This is the iguana exhibit. And this is a box, and you can see it from the outline what the box is. So already the fence around here is not part of it. And also, this display seems to be not part of it, which is interesting because then it means that the box is just a bear box to be themed by us. However, I have to say, it's not really that you can theme it like you would think you can uh, and put stuff in. 
Oh, I can already say so. Oh, interesting frontier. Interesting. Okay, anyways, I, I saw something uh, that I'll have to keep in mind because uh, this is um, something very interesting. It seems that there was... Okay, the bamboo in here seems to be floating and this is kind of important. I, I tell you why in a bit. So what you can do is you have this display over here, which is a new tab that the other animals don't have. They need different kind of uh, temperatures and humidity in their enclosures and this is how you can do it and this is also why you need energy obviously as well in a zoo which is cool um, as you can see we can also click the camera you have seen how this has moved around here and uh, you can also see what the kind of need is and how the humidity in there is and all these kind of cool things um, but you know you can't really build anything in this enclosure you might think and the thing is you can at least change the layout a little bit so this is how you do it you can just enable things and just have a look here now i just go a tiny bit back there we go and just wait for it until she's clicking again just have a look again over here this is where it happens so as soon as she clicks the long white trunk boom it appears she clicks down to a long mossy rock it appears and these are the things that the animals can interact with um the rest of it is basically only in there and it seems and this is the cool bit over here that this enclosure itself has been enlarged by frontier themselves because one thing i have seen let me see if i can just move it back to this very point in time here we go this is clearly not paying attention to detail frontier this is clearly one of the bamboo trunks oh no it's not sorry it's it's my fault it looked like it was floating but it seems to be just the brownish things anyways i still have proof of concept here if i move it further back um, we also have to think what is this we have to look into that um, but if we go further back you can see that there is okay now we need to go frame by frame I hope my computer does it now uh, it seems to be good okay okay it's broken again I hate this I don't know why my computer does it I don't really know what the issue is here so yeah Anyways, uh, this one was floating. There we go. Perfect. That was what I wanted to do. So uh, you can see in the back that the, the plant is somewhat floating in here. And this seems to be also the case in here that they just put some vines and bamboo in there themselves. Because as they confirmed, you, you can basically drag stuff in there. This is no problem. The only thing is animals would not interact with it. Which is not too bad, to be honest. If they interact with the rest of it, that's totally fine. Um, and yeah, so... Now let's have a look if we can spot, um, by the way, just mentioning, we have uh, Pip Shot Juice over here and the, the Pizza Pen uh, Pizza Shop, just to mention that we have a, another brands confirmed from Planko. Uh, yeah, she's doing this stuff again. I'm, I'm just keeping this a little bit closer here. And now uh, let's just move forward. She's adding some stuff in here. Yeah, you can see the suitability now is way better for the iguana. And if we move a little bit further, just a tiny bit please can we just move a tiny bit further that would be awesome because then we might have a look onto one of the other exhibits in here or maybe not i don't know okay no we can't so we need to move back there's just one moment in time where we can have a look so there are there are actually there is one more exhibit in here and this is that one over here i don't okay let's try to zoom in and play the whole thing even slower Okay, let me just position my camera so that we can catch it. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Okay, here we go. So now, as we move in... Oh, this are actually three, four, four exhibits in here. The other ones are impossible to spot, I guess. But if we move here... Okay, so now let's do the zooming already. And what is that? Okay. I don't know. Still not... Okay, I can't see it still, what that is. I am not sure what this is. Okay, let's move on. It could have been a frog or whatever kind of thing it is. Maybe uh, we get this in even better quality at some point and can see what that is. Because at the moment, it's impossible to spot what that kind of animal was. Anyways, we move further. And maybe we can get another glimpse. I don't think so. No, I just... Okay, so as we go further, she put on the weather. And this is another look at the weather. So you can see how it's transitioning to be a bit darker. And the rain is pouring down. This makes the animals behave differently now. Because they will seek for... Um, yeah, for sheds and for a cover. As well as your guests. And this is what I want to point out. I hope they do it. I have seen guests with a... Uh, umbrella i am not sure if we can spot 
that they're like opening the umbrellas. Let, let's see. I can't really spot that. This would be awesome to see if they are like actively opening them. Okay, I think we couldn't have seen that. Uh, but yeah, okay, as you can see, now they're already using them uh, over here. They have uh, the umbrellas on. Uh, and if we uh, hit play again, you can see actually they're moving in the wind a little bit. Anyways, um, so yeah, if we go further, you can see the animals are then seeking for uh, cover, which this uh, building clearly is providing. And what is also interesting to see, not every guest seemed to have a umbrella. And I'm quite, also you can see how this water is like slowly forming some puddles, which is also awesome. Um, and now as we move further again in, I can again show you, again, here we have the umbrellas, but in the next cut, as soon as we get there, come on, do it. There we go, you can see these guests don't have umbrellas while those have. So it also seems to be that, uh, wait, they, did they have jackets on? Uh, okay. This seemed that they have like, okay, I, I don't know if this is a jacket even, but it looks like a jacket of some, of some kind because it's colder. I don't know. This is something I really wanted to look into um, when, when they are showing us snow, if guests are having different um, clothing, because that's that's something that would make sense, right? Uh, anyways, there is not much more to show, because we have seen so much already in the last uh, thing. The the main the main bit is obviously these iguana uh, enclosures over here, which I'm also willing to go in here. There we go, we have our bad boy, the iguana. Um, oh, look at that. I love this shot. I love it. It's so good. Um, but yeah, so small exhibits are a thing. They are kind of a glass box, as you have seen now. You can uh, change the temperature, you can change the atmosphere, you can change the humidity, you can put in scenery pieces with the advanced move tool and you also can uh, enlarge uh, the amount of pieces in there that are suitable for the animal. Well, that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's analysis video. Um, it's not as long as the last one. I hope you en uh, enjoyed this as well because I found this last one might have been a bit too long. So yeah, sorry for that if you felt like this but it was really important to go into detail with each and every bit here. Now I think we have pretty much covered most of it and I hope to see you in the next video as well. And uh, yeah, keep your eyes open to the channel if you want to have new bits and information about Planet Zoo. You will see them here, obviously. And now enjoy your rest of your weekend and have a good time. See you next time. Bye bye.